Sunday evening, to me, time for relaxation, cozy, chill time, wind down before you get ready to start the work week. So I've got some fragrances in my collection that I think are perfect for just such an occasion. You want to know what 10 fragrances I found in my collection that I think fit that let's unwind, cozy, chill time, environment, atmosphere? Meet me on the other side of this intro. Thanks again, Tyler. And I'll tell you about it. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> You know who it is, man. It is your boy, LL Cool Trey. Trey Sense. A Trey Belafonte. Uh, as some people like to call me, Trey Combs. And I ain't talking about Diddy either. Ain't no dancing over here, people. Anyway, let's get right to it. Let's get to this video. Today is a rainy Sunday, which has been a busy day for me. It's my off day, so I had to get a lot of things done. Busy day for me. Um, and I did, got some things done. Um, seems like time is just flying by. I gotta be back at work tomorrow night. But anyway, um, I digress from that. Topic of this video, chill time fragrances. Now these aren't, this is an eclectic group of fragrances. And the reason I did it that way is because, okay, it's chill time, but everybody's chill time ain't the same. Some people may chill on while I'm reading a book. Some people may chill, unwind, play in a video game. Some people may actually chill, like I do. My chill time is spent chill time with the recliner, kickback, remote in hand. Uh, normally watching IDTV. I love IDTV. I really do. It shows me the depravity of people in the United States of America these days and all around the world. Some crazy stuff goes on, man. But anyway, yeah. So let's get right to it. Just chill time fragrances. And then, you know, so these fragrances are gonna be, you know, kinda all over the place a little bit, you know what I'm saying? You know, that's the Belafonte way though. We're gonna bring you a video. So let me get the first one out of the way. The first one is from the House of Commodity. And I I hate putting fragrances like this in a video, but I just like this fragrance a whole, whole lot. So I'm gonna put it in there. And it is from the House of Commodity and it is Vetiver. The reason that I said I hate putting fragrances like this in this video is because I don't know if this fragrance has been discontinued. I don't know if it's one you can still get your hands on. But if you can, I suggest you do so. I don't pick up on a tremendous amount of vetiver. To me, it comes off as a rose-based fragrance or a rosy type of fragrance, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but I do like this one. It is a unisex fragrance. I do think it leans slightly more feminine than masculine, maybe 60% feminine, 40 masculine, or 55, 45, something like that. Um, but nonetheless, I think it's a really good fragrance, especially if you get it at the price I got it at, which was like $29. And I was proud to have it in my collection. I would have liked to have gotten some more uh, commodity because when I first started seeing this stuff pop up at TJ Maxx, it was like $60. And it slowly went down. And I don't know. Somebody said they changed bottle styles or changed companies and then it came back. I don't know. So, nonetheless, Vetiver from Commodity. Just a nice, fresh, floral type of scent that I think would go good if you kick back in your recliner or if you're entertaining a date or you know whatever something laid back and casual um, I think that would be a good fragrance to wear on a lazy cozy relaxing Sunday afternoon I think that would be a good one to wear okay now if you're doing something a little bit more sexy and you're trying to impress somebody and you want to smell good but you don't want to blow them out of, out of your vicinity Mercedes Benz Black. Mercedes Benz Club Black. Nice fragrance. That commodity has filled the room. This is one. Slightly gourmandish. Uh, very sophisticated. Very well made fragrance. If you don't have anything from the house of Mercedes Benz, do, you, do yourself a favor. Say you, I don't know, you've got you an Amazon order or you've got you a... a, a 
fragrancex.net order and you want them to you know get you something to, to put in your cart if you run across one of these throw it in there for the price that you're going to pay for a mercedes-benz fragrance not at the mall or at a retail store i think they're really nice well-made well-blended fragrances and this one is no exception i really like this it has got a nice sweet sexy sophisticated that sound like me that sound like trey belafonte don't it it does i digress nice just almost the same color as belafonte it? it's got me nonetheless y'all I, I digress i just think this is a nice fragrance so if you were doing something a little bit more sexy a little bit more romantic you know, say you was Netflix and chilling. I think that's what the kids call it. You know, if you were just hanging out with a significant other, watching a movie, or just a late dinner, or you know, whatever. You know, whatever. Like I said, I worked second shift for a long time, so Sundays was like Sundays was really an off day for me because I didn't have to get up early in the morning, Monday morning. So I didn't have to worry about being in bed. So I did a lot of dating on Sunday evening. So you know, nonetheless good time to go to the movies things aren't as crowded so if you're if that's your sunday evening chill this is one that i think you need to get your hands on mercedes-benz mercedes-benz club black nice little scent right there and it's not overly expensive but it definitely does smell very mature sexy and gourmandish i think you guys would like it from the house of Donna Cameron. And that's not a house that is ever hardly ever mentioned in Fragcom. It is Donna Cameron, big long thing that you can knock somebody out with bottle. Or Donna Cameron man, as you may want to call it. This one, um, I like it. It's not a monster performer at all. So this would be a good one to wear fresh out of the shower or to bed. Something in it is either, first of all, it's fresh. It's a freshie. Um, maybe some ozonic notes I'm picking up on. Some some type of orange. And not necessarily a bright orange or a bitter orange, kind of right there in the middle. Maybe blood orange. I don't know, something in it gives it a, a, a fruity, a citrus fruity vibe, but it's not like a hand cleaner citrus type of vibe. It is a nice um, citrus type of scent it is a little underdeveloped it's not as mature or as refined or, or, or it's just not as well made as a lot of fragrances but nonetheless i think i paid like 16 dollars for this big 1600 mil um i do not care for this bottle at all i mean it looks like you know i work at a, at a grocery store now part-time picked up some hours uh just to suck the income you know how it is you know, they gonna leave money on the table, I'm gonna get it. So it is what it is. Looks like the thing we put down to divide one person's groceries from the next. I mean, I just don't know who comes up with the bottle designs and concepts and names for some of these fragrances, for some of these companies. And this has to be one of the most questionable I have ever seen in my life. I just don't know who came up with that. But the fragrance itself is a decent fragrance. It is very relaxing, very calming. Uh, it also gives off this cucumber type of vibe, so I'm not sure what notes are in this, but I know some people will definitely go look up the notes to this one. So, yeah. And if you do, leave it in the comments below. Um, yeah, but it is a good fragrance, like I said. It's a good one if you just, if you really just chilling on a Sunday evening doing absolutely nothing. It is definitely one that you will enjoy smelling on yourself. I think the people around you will enjoy it. No, it's not a sexy fragrance and they're not going to think you're sexy, sophisticated, mature, or any of that. They're just going to think you smell nice and fresh. And there's nothing wrong with that either because you can't smell like Trey Belafonte every day of the week. Sometimes you just, you know, you just got to smell like a regular old person. Can't always smell like a Belafonte. Come on, y'all. Another one that I think fits almost exactly that wheelhouse. It was a very expensive fragrance at one time and the price dropped on it. Can you guess what it is? Can you guess what it is? You guess what it is? Wood D squared two. And this is one that I have seen, excuse me, my head is itching. This is one that I have seen, it's a nice smelling fragrance though. One that I have seen several times at um, Marshalls in Corinth, Mississippi. You've heard me talk about going down there. This is a fragrance 
this is a fragrance that I have seen there many, many times on the discount uh, section with the red stickers on it. Um, as low as $18, I think, for the 100 mil. And I probably should have picked it up and tried to sell it on Macari or something. But I didn't feel like bothering with it because people nowadays just don't want to pay for anything. But I, evidently it's a Canadian company. That would be my guess since that's what a maple leaf right there. But at $60... This fragrance is vet was vastly overpriced. Now I got this one for twelve dollars because I got it at Marshalls in Madison, Alabama, or Huntsville, the Madison Huntsville area, because somebody didn't want to go look at the price, so they just said it's twelve dollars. Or they bought a actually bought a bottle of Chrome United, and the crazy part about it is it was a one ounce bottle of Chrome United. It wasn't even a hundred mil, so I ended up getting it for twelve dollars when it was still selling for sixty, but. If you're curious about this fragrance, you may want to check your local Marshalls because they have it in abundance, or they had it in abundance and it was all marked down. This one is just a nice, crisp, fresh um, fragrance. It smells like a really good shower gel. It is a little bit woody. I guess that's hence the name wood. It's not overly woody and it's not a piney citrus. Uh, it's not a piney or a, a, a needly or an old school type of wood if that makes any sense like a fougere or something like that it's not that it's not that it's very modern very crisp very fresh very easy to wear i can see anybody wearing this from a 13 year old on up to a 70 year old yeah it's just got a nice crisp woody but clean aspect to it and i like it plus it has a magnetic top how do you go against anything that you play with magnetic cap brother wood and d squared two all right that's four in so that means i got six more one that i don't ever hear anybody talk about and when i do they they dislike it a lot and i'm sure it's a clone of something and it's from the house of perry ellis and it is platinum label and if you don't like the scent you can definitely use this as a paperweight you can use it as a brick you can throw it and hit somebody with it and they're not going to survive i promise you that D square wood has kind of got the whole, the whole air filled up. My phone is blowing up with weather because, you know, it's a hurricane down on the coast. So all my people in the coastline, I pray for y'all. I hope y'all are safe. Uh, Castro, Russell Mack, I hope y'all are all good. Anyway, 504 man reviews, I think that, yeah. Hope you're safe too, bro. I'm, I wish I knew what this was a clone though. I'm, I'm sure it's a clone or something. I just hit myself with it. See if I can get a better feel of it pumping off my skin. I'm gonna give it a minute let the alcohol die. I need another minute for the alcohol to die. Y'all bear with me. Now, I don't know why people don't like this fragrance. Is it the reinvention of the wheel? No, it is not. But it has a very calm, relaxing vibe to it, similar to D squared to wood without the woody aspect. I want to say they may have been reaching at a Chanel fragrance with this one. As you know, Periolis, I love the house, but they do a lot of clones. So I'm wondering if they were reaching for Chanel with this one. Nonetheless, I like it. I like it. It's, it's um, again, it's, it's not going to be the reinvention of the wheel. So some of you guys that are big, heavy, offensive niche fragrances, you will not like this fragrance, which honestly, you won't like any of these. So there you go. I'm picking up on some pineapple in there. I think this pineapple, don't quote me. Whatever it is, it's fresh, it's crisp, it's fruity. It's a very airy fragrance, uh, very casual, very laid back like me mr belafonte but it's definitely a fragrance i think if you can find at the right price it's worth adding to your collection and this is one uh this is 100 mil you should be able to find a 15 mil of this for around 15 bucks because very other fragrances are just not expensive that is nice hmm it also reminds me of fragrances along the line uh i'm sorry it reminds me of fragrances in the Lacoste line, like the, the L1212 line. It reminds me of that line of fragrances too, which makes me wonder if they were going for Chanel 
uh, Allure Home Sport, maybe. Is it, isn't it in the silver bottle, too? Yeah, it's in the silver bottle. Um, Perry Ellis Platinum label. So, it, it, in a very nice name. I mean, that's a great name for a fragrance, Platinum label. I like it. I like it a lot. Bright, fruity, but not overly bright, like a Neroli type of bright. Just a nice, crisp, easy to wear type of fragrance. That's definitely one that I would put on on the day I'm not leaving the recliner. You can wear that anywhere. You can wear it to the office. You can definitely wear it to church. You could wear it on a date. Um, I'm not sure you would stand out if you did wear it on a date, but you could. So, you know, that's the name of the game. From the house of Lady in Red, it is their version of Creed's Silver Mountain Water. And this is a compliment getter. It does not take take a lot very very accurate um, and as you can see I put a dent in it levels are right there I don't play when it comes to my fragrances yeah I wear these stuff man I wear these stuff I wear this stuff you know especially stuff like this because I know how good it smells and how close it is to really really expensive fragrances so from Lady in Red I was trying to see if that says something else. No, it just says our version. Fragrance Club is what I was looking for. Lady in Red Fragrance Club, y'all look for that. And this is a great uh, alternative to Creed's Silver Mountain Water. It is a nice, metallic -y, warm type of scent that I think smells good. I like it, proud to have it in my collection. You ever just wanted to get away on a Sunday? You know, like a weekend getaway? From the House of Tommy Hilfiger, and as you can see, I've got to wear this more. From the House of Tommy Hilfiger, we have Weekend Getaway. Love these, love this bottle design. That's nice. That's really, really nice. That's really nice. Man, that is nice. Fruity. Uh, it's fruity, and it's kind of dirty at the same time. It's got a dirty vibe to it. I, something in there, I'm not saying that it's petroleum or violet leaf, but something in it gives me that violet leaf type of vibe. Now, I don't know what the note breakdown is because I don't I don't do note breakdowns, but and it's not a tropical type of fragrance. It is somewhat fruity, but I guess you can have a getaway in the middle of the winter too. You know what I'm saying? Like in December, you can have a getaway in December. You can. I mean, if you want to, right after Thanksgiving. Right before Christmas, have you a nice little getaway. Tracy's birthday is in December. I'm gonna have me a getaway before my birthday. Anyway, <laughs> weekend getaway from Tommy Hilfiger. You know, you see it's like a little postcard, a little stamp on the top, but nonetheless, this is a great smelling little fragrance. If you see this out, I suggest you pick this up. I think it's good for end of spring where it's still a little bit cool um first of fall where it's a little bit cool i think this fragrance would shine best in that type of climate not saying that you couldn't wear it on a hot summer day dead in the middle of it because you could i'm just saying i think i would pick something fresher more fruity more top tropical more citrusy than this one i think i would wait for this one to um I will wait for the weather to cool down a little bit before I spray this one on. Tommy Hill figure, we can't get away. Man, I got three more. Let's get this one out of the way. Dunhill Pursuit. Really like Dunhill fragrances. I think they're really good, inexpensive fragrances. Again, they none of these are the reinvention of the wheel. They're not. It's nothing new out there. I don't care who puts it in the bottle. There's nothing new out there. It's just a matter of you getting your hands on it or not. Got like a gun. Nah, but not do that. They take my video now. Never mind. This one is very boozy. Slightly leathery, very boozy, very subtle, very good fragrance. I would definitely wear this one on a date. Would definitely wear this one chilling in my recliner. To me, it is a cooler weather type of fragrance. Uh, would not necessarily reach for this for the heat. I mean, in the heat, if I did, I would go two to three sprays at most because I could easily see this one getting away from you and becoming, as they say, clawing, um, which just means loud and stinky. 
That's another word for clawing. I can see this one getting away from you and turning into a mess if you spray too much of it and then wore it in the heat. So my advice to you is wait till it cools down to wear this one or wear it at night when you're out of the reach of the sun. Done here for soon. Let's turn it to from the house of English Laundry. What y'all think I'm gonna put out here? What y'all think? Cambridge Knights. Is this a clone? Yeah, it is. Invictus. Is it a good one? I think so. That smells good. That smells good. For the $12 that I paid for this, uh, as Mike Tyson would say, I'm ecstatic. For, for $12, this is a really good fragrance. 100 ml bottle. Love the, the bottle design. Love the cap. The colors on it is pretty. Really, really like this fragrance. From the House of English Laundry, Cambridge Knights. The next one on this list, and the last one on this list, Vince Komodo Black. It may have another name, but we're going to call it Black. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Hmm. I think I need to put this one on skin so I can give you a better feel for what this one is. Oh my goodness. Very masculine, that's for sure. I wonder if that's... The alcohol ain't playing in this one, y'all. Give me a second. I'll let it do what it do. Okay. Now she's coming in. This is one of those rich fragrances. I get exactly what they were trying to do with this one. Um, It's a good fragrance once it settles down. It's clean, it's rich, it's not soapy, and it's not fruity, but it's, it's got a deep a depth to it and some richness to it, and it smells nice, crisp, and clean. Definitely the type of scent I would wear if I was wanting to impress somebody. It's definitely a close encounter, a cuddle scent. I won't say it's a date night scent, so to speak. It just, it, it has something about it that says I mean business. That is the vibe that I get off of it. It, it, it kind of reminds me of a Tom Ford type fragrance. I'm not sure which one, but it has that kind of richness to it now. It doesn't smell of the same quality, but yet and still I think it's mm -hmm, nice, deep, rich scent. Vince Camuto Black. I had a couple of these and took them back. It just wasn't really that impressed with them. I like that one because it, I just thought it smelled good. The thing about it is it's not a monster projector. It's not a monster in longevity. It does lay around on your skin as a skin scent for a pretty good while. I think it does that for about six, maybe even seven hours, but it is very, very faint. Um, so you, you would probably want to hit that one with the old Brett Favre, the old pump fake, or, or, or decanted, or just take the bottle with you, which is what I would do. But yeah, Vince Camuto Black, a nice, sophisticated type of fragrance. It's really trying to grow up and be sophisticated. Didn't quite get there, but it's trying. Um, but nonetheless, I think it's a really good fragrance. I think anybody would be okay wearing this fragrance. I think it would make a good Christmas gift, a birthday gift, or any type of gift. I like the bottle design. It doesn't feel as good as it looks, though. A little bit cheesy, but nonetheless, good little fragrance. Vince Camuto Black. All right, people, I am thirsty now for spraying all these fragrances in the air and for talking for 22, 23 minutes. So thank you all for being the best part of this channel. Again, all my people that are down there um, in the path of this storm, please be safe, be careful, do what them people tell you to do because the main thing is you get home. So I digress. Uh, please be sure to like, that's this, share, that's this. And so that's this and I will be happy. And again, thank you all for being the best part of this channel. It really means a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you for returning to the scene of the crime. Uh, and may God bless you all until we meet again. Peace. Y'all take care.